If you want to dispose of an acid, it may be unwise to pour it down the sink since it will damage the pipes. Likewise, a chemical spill involving a base could cause negative ecological side effects. How then can we neutralize acids and bases? Acids and bases have many practical uses. However, these same substances can be harmful and we must know how to control them. The objective of this lab is to neutralize a base using an acid. The materials that you'll need for this lab are a universal support stand, you'll need a burette, an Erlenmeyer flask, you'll need universal indicator, we'll need litmus paper, both red and blue, you'll need some hydrochloric acid and a beaker, and you'll need some NaOH as well as a beaker and a graduated cylinder. Test the NOH with litmus paper. Since both litmus paper turn blue, this is a base. Test the HCl with litmus paper. Since both litmus paper turn red, this is an acid. Fill the burette with 25 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. Measure 25 milliliters of NaOH base in a graduated cylinder and transfer it to an Erlenmeyer flask. Add universal indicator to the NaOH. Universal indicator has a unique property. It will turn one color for an acid, pH less than seven, another for a base, a pH of more than seven, and yet another for a neutral solution, a pH of exactly seven. We will have to observe the change in color carefully in order to determine when the base is neutralized. Slowly add the acidic solution to the basic solution. Stir periodically. Watch carefully for a change in color. In the presence of a universal indicator, the base turns purple. If we neutralize the base with acid, the resulting substance turns yellowish. However, if we go too far, adding an acid to a base will eventually turn red. In this lab, we successfully neutralize a base with an acid. By adding HCl, an acid, to NaOH, a base, the reactants were neutralized and produced NaCl, a salt, and H2O, water. The resulting solution had a pH of 7. Hopefully, you should now have a better understanding of how to neutralize acidic and basic solutions.